work there for Wales and Women's Rugby League. Great stuff. Um, of course, we've got PNG playing against Fiji, is it? Women's? I'll say that's correct, because I don't one know otherwise. The PNG Orchids are playing against one of the other Pacific nations before the the test matches this weekend, which obviously the last World Cup only had four women's teams. Um, so we're building here to potentially have more, aren't we? That was the, yes. the final of the French Women's Rugby League was held last weekend I think the weekend before the one just gone um, I think uh, Toulouse beat Catalans in that one and um, I know that our friend Nate Gladden is involved in the women's uh, USA rugby league side that's trying to get off the ground I think he's going to be um, involved in the management structure of that uh, so add, add the, that into the, the Canadian team that we already saw at the World Cup the, the PNG Orchids, England, Australia, New Zealand um, you're starting to build a, a, a bigger group here to make a more widespread World Cup for the for the women's game as well as the men's game which I think is fantastic news yeah it is Okay, if you want to send in any views on any news stories over the next week, like Tom and Josh have done, then uh, get in touch. We'll send you the link to the Google form for fan views on the week's news, and then we'll cover them next week. And stop us talking about it so much. (laughs) We did talk a lot this week, didn't we? Oh, well, we'll talk less about the games, (laughs) which we'll talk about next. Okay, Super League match reviews time, and it's Super League round 18 that we're going to be talking about, Alan. Um, average attendance this week of 7,909, with just one game going over 10,000 barrier. 10th um, best of the regular season, so mid-ranking um, from that regard uh, for crowds. But um, let's not obsess about crowds too much. Let's obsess about the action on the field. The first game we're going to talk about is Thursday night's game. And you're going to take us through the vital statistics. Yep. So if you can cast your mind back this far, it was uh, Castleford against Hull FC. And it finished Castleford 18, Hull FC 31. Um, quite different at half time, 14-4 to Castleford. Uh, there were 6,344 there. And Robert Hicks was there um, having a nightmare or an OK game, depending on who you're a supporter of. Um, some nightmares to the video referee, I think, is the uh... yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get on to that a bit, but yeah. So in, in terms of in terms of stats, um, the the stats actually don't support the uh, rather convincing away win. Cast actually had 161 more meters made at 0.6 meter per um, per carry, better average gain, and had a better team tackle success. Although made an, one less error and made one more break. Um, for Hull FC, uh, Kelly uh, showing up yet again, three tries, 160 metres. Uh, Ratu Nalago, two tries, a try assist, 131 metres and two clean breaks. Danny Houghton, uh, year mate, 58 tackles, 13 mark tackles, uh, 103 metres. That's yeah. quite, quite a lot. Uh, and Beretta Faremo, uh, six tackle busts and 106 metres. Uh, it wasn't all bad news for Cass. Uh, Peter Metautier with one try assist and 186 metres. Uh, Greg Eden, a try, five tackle busts, 103 metres. Uh, Paul McShane, 46 tackles and 12 marker tackles. And James Clare out there on the wing made 102 metres. Yeah, Carsten goes first. He said, that looked like an easy cast win after 30 minutes, but then the snake show started. Dammy was on fire in that game, and the pass behind the back was unbelievable. The Nugget with a... The Nugget Slut is his official name, Carsten. The Nugget Slut with a hat-trick wasn't too bad, but he's a dickhead. <laughs> so Carsten had to say on that. The Fair Nugget enough. Slut got um, three points in the, in the Man of Steel voting, and uh, the snake got none. That is, well, that is unbelievable. I know. 
It's, it's, it's fixed. Uh, Stats Josh... credited um, credit Connor with three assists. I thought he had four assists. I thought he was fucking incredible. But anyway, I Josh, thought it was, it was yeah, yeah, absolutely sensational. Uh, Josh says Hull looked fucked, and it was there, and it was there for the taking. Yet Cast took their eye off the ball in front of the wrong people, who capitalised on the mistakes made. If people want a time frame on video ref, then that's fine. But the Jake Connor pass back would have been deemed forward. Forward the ex- would have deemed. Would have been deemed forward the extra time given the correct decision. They only look for a long time if needed. Uh, Nualaga was his man of the match. Uh, okay. Um, fat boy Rob said, Christmas comes early for FC. Another cast collapse in the second half taken full advantage of with some good tries for Hull. The video ref needs to go. Unsurprising there from Rob. Uh, Joshua's granddad says, um, off the pace in the first half and cast good value for 14 4. And then the right edge kicked in uh, with a better combo for Ratu, Albit, and the Snake. A video of Ruse which took an age, but a comfortable win for the Black and Whites. Uh, Paige said, what a great win. Brilliant second half, much to Tom's disappointment. How uh, outplay, how an uh, outplay McShane, Jake the Snake running circles around the castle for defence, and Albert the Nugget Slot Kelly getting his first ever hat trick. Great game and much needed two points. Um, always in our shadow says, Milner the filthy bastard. If you don't like Jake, try beating him on the field, not by spitting at him. I thought the complaint was about biting, not spitting. But even I, thought he, I thought he was biting. Yeah. 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 Sarah McKenzie, our other co-host friend, Scoot, says, A 10-point lead uh, to Cass at half-time was probably a fair ele- reflection given our lack of go-forward. A half-time ticket from Radford, and we re- remembered how to make metres. Great performance from Sneed, Jelly, Connor, and Ratu particularly. Hmm. Well, it, this was an interesting one, wasn't it? Because because FC have been showing is it, it one week off, one week on. This week it was one half off, one half on. Because um, <laughs> I kind of I'm, I'm all my notes from the first half were all about how slow FC were looking, how lethargic they were, other than a piece of brilliance from from um, from Jake. Um, yeah. Um, but other than that, they were completely outplayed, and I was um, I was watching this on delay um, as I tend to do on um, Thursday and Friday night games, and uh, I made the fatal mistake of going onto Twitter and seeing the actual final score. <laughs> so I, I had absolutely no idea how they um, how FC got back into this, but but yeah, they 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 remembered that they could actually play. Um, I mean, we've we mentioned it before. Connor was absolutely sensational in this game um if you could give him four points um uh, for man of steel he should have done because um everything went through him it felt like to me um i i, I, have, to, I have to in particular the self for kelly's first yeah. was it kelly's first try kelly's first try that 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 for me was i, I was skipping ahead but that was my best try of the game for me absolutely sensational yeah, the offload for Ratu now on goes first try in the first half as well. Like you say, Hull, Hull FC bereft of attack or ideas or threat, but uh, uh, unbelievable, otherworldly offload that other people tried to pull off um, later in the game and got spectacularly wrong. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's one of those things. I, I kind of because I, I suppose the question is: is it right to have him in the centres? Um, you know, is is he involved in a foot centre? But I suppose it's only what three weeks ago, four weeks ago, three to four weeks ago that we were saying the op- saying that, isn't it? Because at Magic Weekend there was no spark, no attack, and yeah. Connor didn't didn't get anywhere near the ball, anywhere near often enough. But the last two weeks, when they've fed their attacks down that side and scored from range, yeah. Center is a is a fine position for him to be in. This uh, is the thing. I, I I kind of I kind of don't mind it because you've got Kelly as a bit of a predator and and kind of uh, backing up. Snade's there to control the game, and as long as Connor can can get involved, and I guess center is one of those positions where you can chime in from um, from elsewhere. Um, but it, it, the, the guy just needs the, the ball in his hands as often as you can possibly get it to him, quite frankly, because cause he uh, he turned this game around. He absolutely I, did. I think the call would be, when nothing's happening, get it to Connor, wherever he is on the pitch, whether he's at yeah. one, six, seven, or in the centres. You know that, and that was kind of 
what happened to get things going because one thing putting him in the centres gives you an advantage of that you don't get when he's in the halfback positions as much is you can kick to him and I don't think there's a player with a better leap the, uh, there's not a player who wins the ball in the air maybe Makinson um, wins it but I don't think he's as consistent at getting to the ball first in the air even as Jake Connor is yeah I'm, 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 I'm phenomenal yeah, I mean, if you were to put together his a connect, you know, a, a compilation of his tries and his try assists, a, a lot of those will, will be from kicks, and that's not discounting the rest of his game. He, he just, it's just a reflection, as you say, of how good he is at that. Because, because I kind of, I didn't have a problem with the. I know it took an age, but it, it, it didn't take an age when it, when I was folding it on the, on replay. No, but, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so so I'm a little bit biased by that, I suppose. But um, to me, I I don't think Hicks had a Hicks didn't really influence the game particularly one way or the other. Oh, and players in kind of way couldn't more than the officials. Yeah, and I I couldn't really argue with the ultimate decisions from the from the from the video referees really. So I kind I... of I, I wasn't quite sure. People going on about, to be honest. Yeah, it's a Go difficult on. one because there was the Eden try, wasn't there? That looked like a knock on. Um, yes. I, my problem is that the 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 live call system, um, it feels like a great system in theory. <laughs> Um, Communism's the, great in theory, but the the theory requires more often than not the referees not making a guess. Now in the NRL they'll have two referees, right? So they've got four match officials, three of which are going to be close to the action. Yes, and the, the, they're, they're, they're always a more informed decision from more different yeah. angles. That's true. So when they send a live call up, I think they've got more chance of that live call being right. Now in Super League. In the televised games, you don't have the in-goal judges, which I think is silly because they're good as an extra pair of eyes. Yeah. I think you see far less questionable decisions in the ones where you don't get the TV replays because I think I'm always trusting there's an extra bloke there is very close to what's happening. He's got a good view on things, a different view to the referee. So I'm almost more inclined to trust that anyway. Whereas what you're doing here is very fast players playing very fast rugby, doing things that are borderline, and then it's going up based on two people's quick snap judgments and one person who was miles away making a call. Or maybe two people that were miles away making a call and one guy that was close. And that's where I think it falls down for us, the live the live call system, because what you're ending up with is the video referee having to provide clear and obvious conclusive evidence that the on-field call is wrong, but the on-field call isn't always very well informed. And I'm not criticising the referees for that. No. They have a difficult job and they're not covering as many angles as, like I say, they are in the NRL, where it works better. Yeah. Um, I think, so in I, the I, NRL, they can make a quick decision, whereas in Super League, they have to analyse it too much. And and whilst, in theory, the, the live call was, I think, a better system in theory, in practice, which is what you've got to give it time, and we've had it for about four or five, about four years now, would you say? Four or five years? I think four years. I think it, it came like in during it, the life yeah. of the podcast yeah. in Super League. Um, and I think what you're ending up with is endless, endless replays to try and just rather than to try and prove a clear mistake has been made, they're trying to justify the on-field call. And, and it feels like it's working. The mechanics of it are working the wrong way round. Rather than what's intended as a system to, to remove clear and obvious errors... It's not doing that. And clear and obvious errors that are going to affect the outcome of a match as well. And, and don't get me started on that part of it, because that's where the NRL has definitely got it wrong. Stop fucking sending things up for the video at, like, 40 points to nil, please, NRL referees. But um, you got to like that chicken. Well, that's why Kendall was absolutely correct not to send the one up on, on Friday night at the end of the game, because the game was over. The game was dead, if, yeah. If, if, if the referees thought it was a try, give it as a try. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a bit, but go on. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Yeah. It feels like it's, it's it's engineered now the wrong way around, and that's why I think we've got to revert back to the no on-field call, and or yeah. do it more like the cricket of like the soft call, where... 
is a similar sort of idea, but you're less wedded to it, I feel. I just feel like you're too wedded to the live call, and I'm listening to video referees trying to explain. You know, on the BBC games, for example, yes. trying to explain why they're overturning it. I think, why I, they're I, not overturning it, sorry. I think, I think, I think well, see, the one thing that I like, the kind of the, the live call from the ref, 